Hello? We're still talking about statistics? One thing that people do is we'll, we'll talk to a small sample of a population and then we'll assume that that population represents maybe the entire country. So when elections are coming around, the, the statisticians, the what is it called? The survey people will talk to maybe a thousand people and then based off of those thousand people they'll say well that represents the entire US population and I can make predictions on who's going to win an election. So we don't want to, we can't talk to everybody in the US but maybe we can talk to a few thousand people and use their answers to represent the entire population. Or maybe I want to get an idea of what the favorite lunch is on campus. Um, I can't talk to everybody. I'm not going to talk to hundreds and hundreds of students, but maybe I'm going to talk to 30 of them and I'll use them to represent the entire student population. So that's one thing that is done in statistics. So representative. A representative sample, the question is, does the sample really represent the entire population? Representative, does the sample If I want to figure out what the favorite flavor of ice cream is on campus, should I only talk to the first graders? Is that a representative sampling? Does that really represent our entire campus? Should I only talk to eighth graders? Does that represent the entire campus? Or should I go out and randomly select a whole bunch of people, just completely random. I'm going to pull names out of a hat and ask them what their favorite ice cream is. So random, random, man, I understand. Random is selecting things randomly. What's a good definition of random here? Random, definition of random. Oh, I just said, I think I just did read on or something. Random. Chosen without method or conscious decision. So, random is chosen without conscious decisions. Made, done, happening, or chosen without a conscious decision. Having no specific pattern. So, random. No specific pattern. It's like pulling names out of a hat. And then we come down to biased. Well, the idea of bias is that some people have a bias. Some people, if I if I talk to a bunch of little tiny kids, maybe they're all going to like chocolate because that's what little tiny kids like. They, that's their bias. And as you get older, maybe your, your uh, tastes change. So if I talk to all the middle school kids, maybe they're all into like Ben and Jerry's cookies and cream or something because that's what they all went to a party and they all had that at that birthday party. That was the flavor at some kid's birthday party. I don't know, but that's the idea of a bias. So I'm going to look up the full-on definition of bias here. Bias. Bias. It's the idea of having a, a prejudice in favor of something. So bias is a prejudice. Person group compared, usually considered to be unfair. So a prejudice. Because if I ask people, okay, if I ask a bunch of people what their 
favorite, okay, their favorite football team is. Football team? If I ask a bunch of people in Seattle what their favorite football team is, do you think they're going to be biased? Do you think it's, I'm going to get this random selection? No, they're going to say they like the Seahawks. If I go and ask a bunch of people in Denver what their favorite football team is, what are they going to tell me? They're going to tell me that they like the Broncos. They're going to have their own bias. They're going to be prejudiced. They're not going to give me an answer that's going to represent the entire United States. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Hopefully that made sense. Telephone. Deborah qu questioned nine of the most experienced doctors at a hospital. Is this sample of doctors likely to be biased? I want to figure out a population that represents the, the entire big picture. If I only take the most experienced doctors, are they going to be representative of an entire hospital? No, they're going to be biased because they're the most experienced ones. So they are not, they are a biased group. Is this biased? Yes, they're biased. They're going to have certain opinions. The, the experienced doctors are going to have their own set opinions. They are not going to represent an entire hospital very well. If I want to look at an entire hospital, maybe I should just randomly select a bunch of names and I'll get some nurses and some doctors and I'll get some inexperienced doctors and some experienced doctors and some orderlies. That would represent a hospital. These guys are going to have a complete bias. William made seven recipes from each section of his cookbook. Each section has an equal number of recipes. Is this sample of recipes likely to be biased? Well, this kind of sounds random, doesn't it? He's, he's randomly choosing recipes out of a bunch of different sections. That's not biased. That is not biased. For a statistics project, Kamal distributed a questionnaire and asked his classmates to fill it out. Three of them did. Is that biased? Well, do we know which three? Did he randomly choose three people? Well, actually, he didn't. He, at, he spread this out a bunch of, among a whole bunch of people, and only some people turned it in. Is that really going to represent the entire class? What, only three of them turned it in. This is very biased. Maybe the three that turned it in are his really good friends, and they turned it in because they wanted to be helpful. Maybe the, the three that turned it in are three kids that really care. I don't know what the project was about. Maybe it was about ice cream again. And these are the three kids that really like ice cream, and no one else cared, so they didn't turn it in. This is completely biased. Yes, this is biased. Mariah picked 25 teachers to survey by throwing 25 darts. Oh, 25 teachers, 25 darts. This is sounding pretty random, isn't it? Did she pick the teachers saying, oh, I'm only going to choose math teachers? No, she threw it on a uh, dartboard. Is this sample likely to be biased? Probably not. This sounds pretty random to me. No, I don't think they're going to be biased. Now, if she only chose math teachers, math teachers have a total bias. If she only chose English teachers, they're going to be biased. If she only chose eighth grade teachers, that's going to be a bias. But she randomly chose everyone, so this is pretty unbiased. All right. Wow. I talked a lot there. That's a nine-minute video. Not a lot of math, just a lot of talking. Bye.